Hi King Creator fans! The matches are back on the channel today, or at least their heads are. Cut a lot of them since they'll be an ingredient for our first invention. I've cut 21 of them so far. We'll need a ping pong ball. When I was in high school, we would borrow the ping pong table they had at school and we'd do challenges. I remember perfectly well that there was a certain guy that we couldn't beat. He played so fast that you didn't even have a chance to see the ball. Cut the ball in half with a box cutter to get these two pieces. Get the matchbox again, but this time we'll only need the box with the scrapers, which we'll cut out with scissors. Remember to cut both because we'll need them. They're still not ready. To make sure everything lights and fits inside the container, cut them as thin as I do in the video. Take super glue and put some on the back of each of the scrapers and then glue them in a cross to one of the ping pong ball halves. Don't forget to cut off the excess that hangs over the edge. Fill this half that we have just prepared with the matchstick heads that we cut at the beginning. Buy some mints for our coffee breath and empty a few onto a sheet of paper. With the help of tweezers, cut up each and every one of the mints until only dust remains. A spoon or hammer could make the task easier. Take one of the colored candles that your mom has or the gigantic candle from your baptism and scrape it with a box cutter to generate these wax shavings. Surely you already know what this magic recipe is for. I've made it several times on this channel. After combining all of the ingredients perfectly, put everything together with the help of a popsicle stick or tongue depressor. Add more match heads to the new mixture to make it bigger. Buy a roll of toilet paper so you don't leave your family with nothing to wipe themselves with. Down there. You know where. Cut a small square with the scissors and put it inside the half that we prepared a few moments ago. On top of this, place the magic mixture and wrap it by folding the ends of the toilet paper. Press it well with your fingers to close and compress it. Once we have put paper on the other half, close it and secure it with adhesive tape. I recommend that you do the first couple of pieces to keep it in place and then wrap it up completely like a mummy from Guantanamo or from Egypt, which were the ones wrapped in bandages. I'm not an archaeologist at all. I would mistake an ancient treasure for a pretty paperweight. Cut a large piece of aluminum foil and from that, cut out what we will actually need to wrap the smoke ball with. We need it to be completely covered to prevent the contents from spilling out and causing a disaster. To close it and give it a better look, squeeze it while twisting the extra foil. Now, let's get ready for action. From the first impact against the ground, it will activate the dense ninja smoke and start to ignite the match heads that will generate the hot sparks. Please don't activate them in front of your parents. They may not find it amusing. The following invention is simply a gadget that will help you take pictures with your cell phone like a pro. Remove the backing from two syringes and attach them at the top flat part with some instant glue. Once the extension is ready, mark a triangle in the syringe container with a marker. Cut it out. It will be the spot where the cell phone holder is fastened, which we will create next with the popsicle sticks you love so much. You'll need to eat two popsicles and take a couple of binder clips from your dad's office. Apply glue to the hooks of the clip and glue them toward each end of a stick. Put a little more glue in the center to attach another popsicle stick on top. This will help make the support stronger. Apply instant glue to the edge of the hole to connect the syringe container and support. Remove the precious cap from a water bottle and draw a half circle on it with the marker of your choice. Then cut it with the box cutter. Take a small square of aluminum foil from the kitchen and with the lid placed upside down, trace it. Cut your small silver aluminum moon with a pair of scissors. This reminds me of a song I like very much. And it goes like this. Talking to the moon. Do any of you know this song? It may not sound like a song. Leave your answer in the comments. The next step involves a lighter with a light. If necessary, remove the metal cover from the base and take out the powerful bulb, which will still turn on if we press these two pins. If you have not already done so, create the hole in the lid and insert the bulb. Secure the light bulb with a little glue and test that it works. Aluminum reflects a lot of light. 
Glue the entire piece to the main syringe. Just look at the pretty little light. It's kind of bright, but it doesn't matter. Find a straw in the trash. Buy a few pointed sticks for roasting marshmallows and hot dogs and insert one into the straw. Make four cuts on the straw to create another rectangular groove. Next, add glue to the binder clip to attach the straw. And take a few squares of toilet paper and make a ball out of it. After wrapping it with aluminum and creating a little ball, apply glue to attach it to one end of a wooden stick that has already been cut. Glue it right in the middle of the piece of wood in the straw. Let's do a little test to make sure it's the right height. I am now a Discovery Channel photographer. Apply more glue on the piece of the wood and attach a wire to it. I hope you've gotten more than one straw out of the trash because we'll need another one. Glue one of the pieces to the body of the syringe, close to the grip tabs. Then insert one of the supports that we glued at the beginning into the structure. Pass the cable through the straw we just glued and place another syringe body on the opposite support. Use a clothespin to activate the buttons to take the picture. After attaching it to the syringe, glue the cable to it and test that it does what it's supposed to do. Ready? Now! Now everyone here who is a professional TikToker will have their own home selfie stick for their videos, dancing, singing, or doing whatever it is that TikTokers do. So much talking made me thirsty for a Coke. What? Of course you can be thirsty for a Coke. No, I'm not addicted to it. Leave me alone. Instead of judging me, go get the toilet paper roll so you can clean the soda residue out of your can. Use a box cutter to help you remove the top of the can using the slight bend it has as a reference. Get the matches from the kitchen because we'll need to prepare the same concoction as in the first invention, only on a larger scale. I don't think you want me to repeat the whole procedure again, and it's very simple, so why don't we talk a little? One of my favorite cartoons as a kid was The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, or Courage the Cowardly Dog. I was also always a fan of The Mighty Experiment 626, or Stitch, as most people like to call it. Quite possibly, this is the origin of my taste for experimenting and creating. What cartoons were your favorites? There are only a few steps left. Only one more ingredient is needed, and that, of course, is wax shavings. So bring back your candle and your box cutter and start scraping. Then, with the help of any object you can find, such as this match, for example, stir all the ingredients so they are well integrated. Cut a piece of aluminum and, using a tubular candy jar, begin to prepare the container which will function as a rocket for our skateboard. That's right, folks. We're going to create a rocket skateboard that even Kit Butkowski would be envious of. Roll the candy tube in the aluminum and close one end. Press it as tightly as possible so that it will support the strength of our mixture. Once we've introduced the mixture, insert the wick and close the container. Don't be fooled by its size. It's small but powerful. Place super glue on the inside of the can and stick it near the rim. Hmm, I could add several more, but I'd better not give them any ideas. What? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Let's make some modifications to the skateboard so that we can mount our new toy. Attach the rocket to a wooden bracket using several rounds of tape. And then stick the square to the tail of the skateboard with the strongest thing you can find. Light it and give it a little push to move it away from you. What? Did you think I would get on it? Ha! <laughs> I get on and there won't be any more inventions. I better watch from here as you guys risk it. I mean, have fun. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.